The shuttle bus will drop you off at Queen's Wharf, but the information office is 500 metres that way, so we're going to wander down. It's right by the museum. So if you turn left, just past Ridges Hotel, and walk along, there's the information centre, and also there's an ATM. Ridges Hotel, behind me is the museum, next to the museum is the information centre, and they have packaged this small city up into a number of interesting but different walks. The Newcastle Museum is right next door to the tourist office and it's free admission. The section on the right is Newcastle's history. Parents take note. While Australia's colonial history may not be of interest to the children, what is next door might be. It has a fantastic soft play area. Well, it kept me busy with some of the interactive experiences off to walk around this small town. Eddie Izzard's playing at the Civic Theatre. So you might want to know where the railway station is because there are things out of town to look at, but we're going to have a quick look around town and then we're going to hit the beach. Everything's contained in quite a small area. Behind the museum is the City Hall and then if you walk across the road, you come to the beautiful Civic Park. Across the park is the Cultural Memorial Centre. This is the Captain James Cook Memorial Fountain, which commemorates the bicentenary of his sighting of the east coast of Australia. Essentially, this is a library, but upstairs there's an art gallery which is divided into conflict, convicts, the Aborigines and human rights. Rolling back all obstacles. OK, so that's the library. We're going to move on next door. This little nest egg is the Newcastle Art Gallery. We don't like to photograph other people's art, but you get the idea. Time to climb a hill. Christchurch Cathedral overlooked the penal colony. And over 3,800 convicts were buried here. So, if you have a relative who came here and was a convict, chances are this is where they were buried. The town is a small exploration. If you're heading out on one of the beach walks, you could do some of the town on the way back. I'm just having a drink, not a pie, at Harry's. All the famous have been here, Elton John, Pat Rafter. Australia has a great public transport system. You need one of the cards which you can pick up free at any newsagent's site. Then you charge it with money. And the card you have here will also work in Sydney. Buses, trains and ferries. You must remember to tap the card in and out. You can see Nobby's Lighthouse, which is where Bather's Way walking tours start. Fort Scratchley was built in 1882. It normally opens if there's a cruise ship in. There's great views of Nobby's Head and the lighthouse from up there. Do enjoy all our films on Cruise Doris Visits and please share. Oh.